I finally did it. Previously, I posted two videos about my failed attempt to build a 3D printed rubber band helicopter. Thank you for all the helpful comments on those videos and because of your help, I finally managed to get the rubber bands flying. A few people mentioned adding extra blades to the helicopter and focusing on the frame that spun like crazy. I recently came across this video by Josh Finn. A link to his video can be found in the description below. He has a lot of free flying aircraft videos, so be sure to check out his channel. Also, a new feature on Tinkercad that lets you draw shapes freely meant I could design custom curved blades to print. This helped me address some other comments I received regarding the thrust capability of the blades and the angle of attack. Finally, I wanted to get a working model using rubber bands I bought from the local shops. And after sorting out the rubber bands, I found a few I wanted to test from the pack. I ended up settling with these brown rubber bands, which I found worked well with the new designs. This is the first design. It's slightly longer than the last design from the previous video and I removed the section that would have had the rear rotor as I don't need it anymore. Also, the blades I'm using are shorter than the ones I used in the last design, as you can see here. I designed the section that hold the additional blades in a modular fashion. This means I can make any changes and or replace these parts easily. Let me not waste any more of your time and just show you how this helicopter performs. Cue the montage. It's that feeling that makes you want It's that feeling that makes you want I love how the helicopter shoots up and hits the ceiling, even though that resulted in a few broken parts. The second design is slightly shorter and the additional blades are in the middle of the helicopter's frame. I glued the mounts on first and then screwed the blades on the mounts after. This is so I can replace any broken blades in the future. Time for another montage. It's that feeling that makes you want it. It's that feeling that makes you want it. This helicopter seems less stable and it kept lifting off to the left or right. Overall, I love the unpredictableness and if you angle it right, it kind of circles back to you. This project kicked my ass and there were many moments when I questioned whether I was smart enough to even understand how to make it work. In the end, I'm happy with the results and I will continue to tweak and explore different variations in the future. Oh, and my favorite out of the two designs has to be the second one. I love how the additional blade sits in the middle of the frame and it's the perfect size for my desk, as well as how crazy it is. Thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribers, and support through this journey. And if you haven't already, do like this video and subscribe for more videos. I don't know. Before you go, here is some bonus footage of a third design I tested and I thought you might like it. It's that feeling that makes you want it. It's that feeling.
feeling that makes you wanna.